Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of her family. Doesn't have one. She was raised on the streets, learned to look out for herself. She got most of her unit killed on Torfin. She gets the job done, no matter what the cost. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. such an important discovery that everyone in the galaxy called it by an earth language name <laughs> <laughs> slight oversight i always assumed everybody uh, has... prime relays in range initiating transmission sequence there's got to be some like universal trans i was about, yeah i was about to say i i, I was always under the assumption that everybody had universal translators in their ears or something we are connected calculating transit mass and destination okay so relay is hot Acquiring approach vector. I'll tell you the exact moment I fell in love with Joker. All stations secure for transit. She looks green. pretty good. Hmm. I'm, I'm happy with that. It fits her character, I'll say. Definitely. She already looks more expressive than uh, what my Commander Shepard would call looks like. Three, like, she's actually looking two, out towards the, the relay, like, expectantly, or like, or whatever. It's the first jump. First in many jumps. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. That moment. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate really? him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. <laughs> Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Okay. I've got to select everything using the right thumbstick. Um, I'm going to go with the neutral option. I think. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I think you pissed him off. <laughs> Great. You pissed the captain off, and now I'm going to pay for it. <laughs> Don't blame me. The captain's always in a bad mood. Only when he's talking to you, Joker. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> All right. So this is our ship. All the controls are working great. That We're makes me happy. Tired. Oh, yeah, I was going to mention that. The only problem with using X-Patter... Um, to map all the buttons because natively the PV the PC version of Mass Effect doesn't have gamepad uh, support so I'm using XPatter um, if I press left on both of the thumbsticks at once it does this <laughs> so sometimes that might just happen I'm really sorry I'll try not to make that happen as much as possible but um, I've got to be really careful with my sticks, and it's a problem only in Mass Effect 1 for some reason. When I went to 2 and tested it out, it wasn't as bad of an issue anymore. 
but uh, we're going to talk to these two people. The we're just having a conversation here. here. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Uh, you need to relax. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. I think you'll do fine. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on Torfin. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. I bought a whole new set of red shirts and everything. <laughs> I know, right? Don't be stupid. This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not going to screw this up. Uh, let's investigate a bit. What about Nihilus? What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. That's pretty cool. Um, Spectres. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. I just put it together. Spectres are like 007. Basically, yeah. Double O agents. Yeah. Um, I was James Bond the whole game and didn't even realize it. That sounds really dangerous, actually, having a bunch of people working above, above the law. How do you control agents with unlimited power? I suppose the Council could revoke the Spectre status of an agent who got out of hand. At that point, Citadel Security Services would take over. Those CSEC grunts wouldn't stand a chance. The Spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers. The Spectres police themselves. An agent goes rogue, they send another agent to take him down. That's Spectre justice. The Corporal's confusing <laughs> romantic legends with reality, Commander. That's dangerous. It would just be the same thing, but I wish it was a different, like... Also, if you wanted to take a Spectre down, you need to give the Council a buttload of evidence, because they're not going to believe you otherwise. <laughs> Probably. I mean, it's not like we would know that, because we... Never mind. Um... <laughs> okay, what about Eden Prime? You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. You guys know where we're going there? Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. All right. I think that's all we're getting out of these guys. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's gonna happen a lot. I'm really sorry. Okay, Navigator Presley. I think we can talk to Presley a little bit. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the Captain? I heard you arguing. Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. Um, what do you mean? You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Uh... I don't know. I really don't like the amount of people, like, how everyone on the ship is questioning what's going on like crazy. That's just really odd to me. Info's on a need-to-know basis, Presley. Just follow the orders you're given. Understood, Commander. It's not 
professional military behavior either. Yeah, it's really not. You don't spend all of your off time talking about, like, second-guessing the mission you're on. 